Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Ho oh. by Ways and Ruben. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so this sound is actually very simple. As you can see, uh, this WAV file is just a render of what's happening here in Serum. The only reason why I render this is because there's quite a little bit of a random factor uh, with the reverb and this unison right here for some reason. But okay, let's now get into the making of this sound. Okay, so here I have an initial ace patch and we're gonna be holding a low E, like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use sine waves on each oscillator, like this. We're gonna bring the random phase of all of these all the way down, and then we're going to change the harmonics of each of these oscillators. So oscillator A is going to be two octaves and four semitones up, and then oscillator B, what we're going to be doing is actually we're going to bring this into uh, the harmonic number 12, which will be two octaves, actually three octaves and seven semitones up. Quite a dissonant tone if you listen with close attention, but we're actually going to be bringing this eight semitones down. So weird. And even there, we're going to bring this 37 cents down. You can see how there's a little bit of phase cancellation over there, and we're gonna boost the unison and detune it even more. I know, weird. Anyways, we're now going to bring this down, modulate at the level of oscillator A with an LFO. Let's set this on envelope, and then let's create a little fuckhornish shape like this. Put the same LFO on oscillator B, but let's actually normalize this. So you can hear a very odd uh, tone in there. And let's bring the sub down, and now let's process this bass. So let's add distortion, let's go and boost the drive here. And so now you can hear the super dissonant um, tone. And now it actually sounds, somehow, it just sounds in tune now. Even though it's super detuned, the harmonics are just compatible with each other. I, honestly, I don't know how I came up to this super weird setup of this oscillator B. It just happened by ear. Anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on a multiband compressor over here, boost the gain, and the release all the way up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the reverb and we're going to bring the size down, the decay down, the low cut up, and then boost the mix as we finish the sound. Like that. We can even bring this before uh, the distortion or the compression. And then maybe you can even have an EQ that boosts uh, specific harmonics at the same time that the reverb brings them up because the, the reverb has this really cool metallic uh, texture to it. Like that. Let's bring this. Like that. And as you can see, now it's up to the fine tuning process. But anyway, uh, we're actually not going to be using an LFO because I used an automation on the DAW. Uh, the reason why it's because it was easier for me to see like where the end of the sound actually is. Cool. Then for the EQ, we could just repeat the same automation. So we could just move this parameter and then bring it up at the end. And now we can just change this uh, value actually. Sorry, I should have brought the gain to 50 because that's zero. This other side is negative. 
And now we can just play with the different harmonics here. That one's cool. And now, as you can see, it's all about fine-tuning correctly this sound. Now for post-processing, what I did is I just boosted the highs, some of the mids, and then put everything through a saturator. Let's bring this down a little bit, because that's actually very, very loud. And put it on a soft clipper. And as you can see, these harmonics over here are very, very noticeable. And again, now it's up to you to experiment and see what you really like and what you don't like about the sound. For example, this actually sounds really, really nice. And as you can see, now it's up to you to just experiment and fine tune the sound. So yeah, that's how you make basses like the ones in a track Who by Waze and Ruben. If you like the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.